Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aquarius October 11, 2022. Pluto stations and turns direct today, after retrograde motion since late April. Due to this shift, you'll feel more confident and motivated to take charge of your work, daily routines, habits, health, and finances. You are less concerned with whether you've made the right choices in the past and more focused on your current path and prospects. You'll more readily recognize unnecessary elements in your routine or attitudes, making it easier to streamline. You can be actively doing research, and you can apply yourself with increased focus and dedication. The shift today may serve to magnify worries temporarily, but before long, you'll gain perspective. Consider whether you've been holding on to something from the past that's taking up psychic space space you might instead reserve for allowing something new and empowering to enter your life. You're likely to approach your intimate world, shared finances, and passion projects with more clarity, recognizing your goals and ambitions in these areas. Results arrive this week. A full moon is rising. It will highlight the cardinal fire zodiac sign, Aries. This means that the collective energy of the ram will ignite the heavens and trickle down into our lives here on Earth. A full moon in Aries guarantees that we will be taking a me-focused mentality rather than looking to compromise, collaborate, or work with others. You may notice how your desire to get what you solely want is paramount now, rather than listening to others or embracing their emotional or sensual needs. This aggressive, Assertive energy will be hard to miss as the moon turns her horns to the skies and throws back her head like a ram proudly. It is time to finally assert yourself. You have undergone quite a transformation thanks to Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. From the end of April until today, you may have struggled to feel at peace with your shared assets, debts, investments, retirement funds, and entanglements. Pluto retrograde challenged you to destroy or let whatever was not working die during this period. Now that Pluto is stationing direct, you are expected to rise like a phoenix from the ashes. Let go of the past to feel in control of your financial future. After five months in retrograde motion Pluto, the planet of change and revolution not only turns direct today but begins the most pivotal chapter in his 14-year visit. Since returning in 2008 Pluto has spent the middle months of each year in retrograde motion, giving you a chance to learn how and where you can change things up. This time, with Pluto due to leave in March there will be a lot more focus on putting this into practice. When you are disciplined, no other sign can produce the kind of beneficial life source that you are capable of because your higher self is generally geared toward helping others. You must ground your physical body in the here and now to be able to reach that higher self. Use discipline to train your body to crave exercise and your mind to crave the healthiest foods possible. Here begins the successful adventure. Some wonderful vibrations are coming up in the days ahead. In your sentimental life, the news is good but don't be precipitous because questions of the heart don't like to be rushed. So just let time do its tender work. In your professional life, events will be hectic and you will tend to be destabilized. Take action and stop relying on old ways of yesteryear. The world is changing, and you have to following along without frantically hanging on to values of the past. In this way, you will be able to profit a maximum from the excellent vibrations around you at the moment. As the moon wraps up its last visit to your career sector before Jupiter returns for a rare double dip visit it is more important than ever to hold on to where this has fueled your professional instincts and imagination. It is also important not to rush the unpacking of a download of information, insights and messages over the last few days. Meanwhile, as the moon moves on it is to begin the lead up to a full moon in your friendship sector, something that will give your social life friendships, teamwork and networking a boost. At the same time that the Sun and Venus, the planet of love both move into their final two weeks in your romantic sector and as they are drawing closer by the day, the moon begins the lead up to a full moon that will see it clash with both over the coming days. 
While this might create some roadblocks or tension it is key to making sure you are paying attention as you move into the most romantically charged weeks of the year. Our eyes in the sky. With the full moon in the passionate sign of Aries, it's a day to focus on your innermost desires and needs. This could be tough because, combined with the sun in Libra, it could cause some people-pleasing energy. That doesn't go too well with what the universe is requiring of the collective these days. Maybe you're now learning that you are your own family, though you could have regrets over something or someone who recently left the picture. Keep in mind that most of these transits aren't for the faint of heart. This moon in Aries hasn't let up on the gas at all. It isn't your responsibility to be an emotional punching bag in any respect. The theme of abuse of power dominates the conversation overall. Having compassion for yourself and your closest loved ones is the most important thing. Everything else really doesn't matter. You are a human being, and living the human experience can be harsh in general on a grander scale. Addictive cycles and dramatic patterns are also a possibility for some who are trying to cope with these changes. Taking the curious approach to your thoughts is the best way to determine any solutions. Prioritize your basic needs. Knowing that there are so many who are feeling the same way will help you through the tough times. Know how amazing you are and how much the universe loves you. Mid-afternoon, the Aries full moon provokes anxiety. The September 25th Libra new moon prompted us to set intentions for establishing reciprocal relationships, while warning that fixating on perfection could tip the scales off balance. Today, this giving-receiving dynamic is illuminated. We are forced to pull back cooperative energy to focus on our own needs. Yet, the moon's conjunction with wounded healer Chiron makes this an extremely awkward process. The Aries moon amplifies the perception that taking risks, pioneering our efforts, and even expressing difficult emotions like anger, puts us at a disadvantage. It doesn't help matters that the sun is traveling with Venus, putting extra pressure on us to achieve relational harmony. At this time, we are guided to recognize that when we pursue our aims, we heal ourselves, thereby making ourselves better candidates for relationships based on mutual respect. If we constantly focus on our perceived failures or weaknesses, we will continue to sell ourselves short in our partnerships, believing ourselves to be unworthy of those whose love we desire. As difficult as it may be to negotiate this day, any brushes with self-doubt, insecurity, or criticism are intended to highlight anxieties so they can be reintegrated healthily. In doing so, we build a foundation of self-love, a prerequisite for relational love. In the evening, the moon sextiles Saturn in Aquarius, offering stabilization following a tricky full moon. This transit harmonizes the energies of our inner child and inner elder. It allows us to understand that emotional safety must come from within, from interior self-regulation. By setting proper boundaries, we engage with others in healthier and happier ways. Limits do not restrict us, they provide a safe container for growth and experimentation.